Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing to you guys the basics of Roblox Studio. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now I'll be putting a download link in the description below if you don't have Roblox Studio yet. It's fairly easy to install. And as soon as you open it, you'll see your home menu. Here you have new project. And over here in this big space, we have game te templates. So for the basic templates, we have base plate and flat terrain. And you can click on these categories. So if you click on theme, you can click on city, medieval, pirate island. And there's a lot of choices that you can pick, especially in gameplay. Uh, there's sorts of different stuff. You can do all, uh, obby, or that's short for obstacle courses. You can do racing, you can do shooters. Also, as you can see from the left, you have also other options to choose from. There's also games. And there's also my projects. So the difference between my projects and games is that um, the my projects are the ones you have published on Roblox, and games are just things you have saved in your uh, computer. So what I meant by that is, let me just go ahead and open Roblox, and then in my account I have a couple of places. I believe they call it places. Yes, yes there it is. So under places you have all of these inactive or active games you have. And I believe they are transferred onto here in my projects. And then you also have recent files under, under here. So I can go ahead and open one of my old projects. So let's for example I'll open up this one. And there you have it. I'll go ahead and close this. Don't save changes. And if you're wondering where your recent files are located, usually you just have to open your file explorer. And I believe it should be in documents. And then scroll down till you find this folder called Roblox. Your project should be under a folder called projects. But what I have here are just a bunch of folders I made by myself so that all my projects are organized and neat. For this example, I'll be starting off with the base plate, which is the most basic game template. So as you can see, we have, uh, like many other softwares, we have the ribbon up here at top. And over here, we have the properties tab and the explorer tab. Now we have to focus on the basics first. So over here, you have um, six choices to choose from on the ribbon you have the home menu you have the model menu terrain menu test menu view menu and the plugins menu now for the home menu you have all these sorts of tools that are available for you you have the clipboard tools insert edit terrain and test and then for model you also uh it's essentially the same almost the same thing but you have more um you have more fluidity when you want to build stuff. So you have select, move, scale, rotate, transform, and all sorts of these, all sorts of uh, tools available for you to use. It's also terrain. There's test. Uh, test is used for uh, testing your game. So you can either run your game or play your game. There's a difference between playing and running your game. Uh, for running your game, let the game run without any player interaction as opposed to this guy here with the little Robloxian icon. Uh, when you click on that, that should allow you to enter the game normally like a player, like so. I'll demonstrate the other one as well. The green run button. So right now the game is running. And as you can see, the other options are available for you to use. There's run script, there's pause, there's stop. Pause essentially means you just pause the game and you just play it again and stop. Now the other cool thing is that under here you can test it. Let's say you want a server of five players. So you tick that for server then you click start and I believe it will start four instances of Roblox Studio. One, two, three, four, five. So it opened up five new tabs or windows. And you don't have to click on them one by one when you want to close it. You just have to simply clean up, clean up. And that's basically it. Everything's gone. So I mentioned before, there's a properties tab and explore tab. What you may know is that you can actually close them or minimize them. You can click and drag them however you wish. So you might accidentally close them. 
So if you want to get them back, you simply have to go to the View tab and click on the Explorer and then Properties. And then let's move that to the, to the side. There we go. And then uh, the Start page is basically what I described earlier in this video is the Home menu. And then there's the Game Explorer tab. The Game Explorer tab is pretty useful for developers, especially when you have a really popular game. It manages all your uh, little assets and stuff like that. There's a Toolbox. Toolbox is a very helpful tool for people to find models. Whoops. So over here you can change the background of the objects. It's pretty cool. You can change it to white, transparent or black. I like to keep it as transparent so I can see the edges of each model. And over here you can go to Roblox sets. These are official sets made by Roblox. And then over here on the drop down you can have base plates, vehicles, advanced building, basic building, things like that. And then you can go to reset models with all the stuff you just recently take to, uh, took from the um, models tab. There's recent decals as well. And over here are decals or our images that you can insert in your game. There's models made by other players. And then there's your own decals made by yourself. Like you can your own your models are available Roblox here as well. Or in Roblox Studio. Uh, I would like to point out that Roblox these well, options sure do not in. Uh, show up when you are not logged in. So what you want to do is go back to story page and then ask for example, I'll log out right now. And you can either sign up or if you don't have an account, and if you do have an account, just simply click on login and then just simply type in your credentials. Now I'm logged in and the option to view my model is open. There's a context help, tutorials, object browser. In this tab, there's a lot of useful stuff, especially when you know how to code. Uh, you can use these as references if you want to find something instead of going to the wiki page of Roblox. So it's pretty neat. The tutorials very awesome tool by the way you have to check this out see you have lots of options to or lots of reading to do actually but these are really useful if you're starting out like making a windmill making a river very very useful i suggest you guys check this out and over here is the output tab the output tab is really useful for when you're uh, testing out your scripts and you, you want to find out if uh, your scripts are working so Usually what uh, developers do is that they use a print function whenever they uh, create scripts and then it should show up in the output tab. Now that I think about it, I don't actually use a lot of these um, options whenever I'm making a game. Um, I'm pretty sure these are useful for, uh, for skilled or not knowledgeable developers out there. But and I'm not going to go into much detail about it. For reference, they're available to open under the View tab. So you can also change the display axis under the Actions menu right here. So with that enabled, you can see it in the lower left corner of the screen. It actually changes according to my camera orientation. So the X and Z axis are on the uh, horizontal plane, while Y is on the um, vertical plane. As you can see, as I rotate the camera, left and right, X and Z move around. If I move it up and down, Y moves along with my camera. You can also do full screen mode. You can do screenshot, you can record a video. You can also show the grid. But I usually turn it off because it's very, very distracting. But you can also change the studs. Stud is basically like a unit of measurement in Roblox. So right now it's in 16 studs increments. 4 studs. As you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 stud increments. And you can make it 2 in stud increments. 1, 2, 1, 2. And then we have plugins. Now I'm going to show to you guys how to install a plugin. And I have a plugin in mind that, that I've been meaning to install lately. So let's go ahead and grab that. I have this on my favorites. Let me just drag that here. So it's called the GUI Positioning Tools made by Zowie. And uh, maybe you've seen this page before and then you'd like to install it but you didn't have Roblox Studio. It will tell you to install this plugin. You have to open this page in Roblox Studio. So what you have to do is copy the URL and then go back to Roblox Studio 
go back to start page and then you can either right click and select all or do control plus A and then paste the link you copied and then click enter it should open up and the green install button should be available for you to click on so it's just easy, as easy as just clicking on it and then it's there so over here I, as you can see I have three uh, plugins right now the plugins are separated by this gray line so I have the model resize plugin I have the generate mirror plugin and I have also animations plugin check out the plugins through the develop tab and then go to library and then plugins so yeah, as you can see there's a lot of plugins you can use just over 606 pages of it so i would suggest researching the plugins before installing now with that out of the way it told me to restart roblox studio so that the plugins will show up here so i'll do that right now no i do not want to save so let's open up roblox studio again and then start an empty project again. And there you have it. There's the plugin. Simple plugin. So let's turn this off for one second. And I have one last thing to show you guys. So you go click on file and then go down to settings. The settings tab uh, lets you change a lot of stuff. Uh, there's things like Lua and it actually gives you a warning if you go through these. Um, tells you changing settings when you make Roblox unstable and stuff like that. Which is true, because um, if you change any of these values, that might um, ruin the uh, uh, the system or Roblox system for you. Uh, especially the physics one. I do not... not the physics one, but I believe uh, game options or whatever and Luma. I would not want to mess with those things, but to let you guys know, these options or settings are available for you to change. But just be careful of what you change here. I uh, usually mess with this one. It changes your quality level when you're editing and quality level while you're playing. Uh, I also do not mess around with this one as well. But game options is like the safest one you can change so far because it just changes your uh, online uh, settings like chat history and chat scrolling and stuff like that and that's it for settings there's one more thing I want to show you guys so if you guys go to file and go to advanced and then customize shortcuts a new tab should open such as this one and you can actually set up the shortcuts for different actions in the system. You can search for an action, let's say paste. Normally you have control V, which is a standard, but you can actually change it to, let's say, I don't know, control L. So you have to double click on it and then click control L for whatever reason you want to make paste into control L. You just have to click on OK and that's it. Now let me change that back. <laughs> because I do not want that to be Control l So double click, Control v and OK. And that's basically it for this tutorial. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something new. If you did, leave a like. And uh, feel free to comment down in the comment section below if you have any uh, questions. I would be happy to answer them as best as I could. I'll also make another tutorial video in the future showcasing um, the building tools that are provided to you under the Model tab. So there's a lot of stuff you need to learn and a lot of advanced techniques that I can show you guys. And I can show you guys how to build accurately with the parts or different parts that are available for you to use and the different tools that you can use in Roblox Studio. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day.